Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest Tons of Iron 4 video. Today we're going to revisit a classic that I pretty much failed at last time. What am I talking about? Well, Britain Plains only. We'll be playing as the United Kingdom, staying democratic, and our goal is to see Germany defeated, but we're only allowed to use planes to do that. We will keep our army on the island, guarding the ports, we'll keep our navy around the island, guarding the ports and such. And we will only project our power through planes and possible landlays, but that's just, uh, you know, getting rid of the equipment we won't need. Last time I did that, I focused on heavy fighters and strategic bombers and tried damaging Germany that way. Today I have a different plan. Let's see how well it works out. We'll be going historical for this one, because we want to see if it succeeds in a specific scenario of German aggression. But before we begin, a message from a sponsor. Only there is no sponsor today, so instead I'd like to ask you for some video ideas. See, I've been feeling a bit burnt out on Hoi4 lately, and I know a new DLC is coming that is going to revitalize the game for me. However, before it comes, uh, if you have any interesting ideas for videos, do let me know in the comments. Right, back to the game. United Kingdom, regular difficulty, iron mode, historical focuses, planes only, let's go. Featuring Stanley Baldwin. I actually recorded half of this video already, but then I got a phone call, paused the recording to get it, and when I continued, I didn't click record properly. And being on Iron Man, I can't just go back and redo it, I have to redo it from the start. So let's hope I don't do anything stupid this time. All our troops, let's switch them to the colonial garrison, because it only takes infantry equipment, it'll make everything simpler, and send them to our home islands to guard the ports. And as the last, we'll use these guys. Exercise up, get Claude as your guy, and Alan as your field marshal. Focus is, we'll be doing steady as she goes, and then probably go for Churchill. On this path, reinforce the Empire, and here, of course, rearmaments of all kinds. So let's start with limited rearmaments, so we can access the Shadow Scheme as soon as the world tension permits. Mechanical computing, industry, and we're doing planes only, so yes, planes. We're going to research the Hurricane, and then we can use our focus bonuses to go up to the Spiteful even, although Spitfire will probably be sufficient. So, Hurricane. And last time I tried this I used Heavy Fighters and Strategic Bombers, this time I'm going to focus on Fighters and CAS. So, Production. We'll leave one factory on infantry equipment, one factory on support, we'll need that for spies, cancel the tanks, cancel everything else apart from Fighters and CAS. And we'll get better fighters soon, so let's just do CAS for now, mostly. Some civilian factories, not too many, this will do for now. And that's it, speed the game up and on pause. King George dies as usual. Rhineland and the Monterey Convention. Sure, let's back the tax. Turkey compromises, and we have insufficient world tension to do shadow scheme. Let's do steady as she goes. We should probably do some strategic bombers as well, mostly for infrastructure, but that can wait. Let's focus on cats and fighters for now. Now I'd like to hire Philip Kerr, however, Sadly, we are going with no further appeasement, which will get rid of him. So, he might pay off, he might not, depending on when we do the, the aforementioned focus. Uh, so, I think it's better to just not take him. Now, we do have Stanley Baldwin. Ah, oh, I forgot to do the agency, that's a mistake. We should get an elusive gentleman. But that can wait. Let's hire the... what should we do? Air research first, or air safety guy? Air research first, let's wait. Or maybe all research. Yeah, I'll just give refuge to scientists. This is gonna pay off. Steady as she goes. For extra stability. We do have to pay attention to the world tension, so that we can get the shadow scheme. For now, global defense, because we want to do no further appeasement relatively quickly. Although I think I made a mistake, I should have taken the light aircraft designer first, because it would boost the fighters we're currently researching. I can do that, still by quickly switching this research for something else and finishing it once we have the appropriate designer. Let's research the strategic bomber in the meantime, because um, I guess I can use a couple of those. Let's ignore the Dutch trade negotiations completely, and we have our agency. Dusko Popov goes to Germany. Abdication. Extra stability. Now, I don't actually need no further appeasement. It could be useful. It's a prerequisite for general rearmament, but we also get that through having 10% wall tension. I guess I don't really need it. Let's reinforce the Empire instead. And be ready to switch that to Shadow Scheme if there's enough world tension in the world. World tension in the world. Where else would it be? Okay, let's finish that. Hurricane Research. 
while getting the light aircraft designer for agility and max speed on the fighters. Hawker Hurricane complete. Let's get some more of those. Competing machine. Oh, there is some world tension. Is that enough to do the shadow scheme? It is. Although I'm almost done with the current focus, but by the time I'm done with it, the world tension will probably go down and block me out of the shadow scheme. I guess shadow scheme is important, but it's not that important. Do we sacrifice 52 days of focus progress? No, we don't. It's a pity, but let's not. Uh, this will probably become unavailable as soon as the other thing finishes. Oh, maybe if I clicked it while it was still available. But the world tension has reduced just now, which is so very annoying. No matter, no matter. We'll encourage colonial elites in the meantime, which gives us a very nice boost to research. And decrypt Germany and Italy and Hungary. Boosted Alan Brook, although he will be... Wait a minute, did I not garrison all the bits? Oh, didn't garrison the most important ones, apparently. Yes, Portugal, you can have some of my ships. Let's get the elusive gentleman and keep boosting our industry. Encourage colonial elites, 7% research boost is nothing to scoff at. Second operative to Germany and we can start infiltrating them. And there's suddenly enough world tension to do the shadow scheme, which we should do. Let's get Alan Turing while we still have Stalin Baldwin with his bonus. Shadow scheme time. Another agent. Go to Germany. Next up we'll get an Italian, once we have the spot. Bulgarian rearmament. Give me a treaty. Should I get a scout plane? Ah, why not? Let's research that too. I need more military factories and I need them soon. While we still have Stanley Baldwin, let's fill the last advisor slot. War industrialist. We're gonna be building those military factories soonish. Finish the civilian ones and then we'll do military. France wants to join the Allies. No. no of course. I agree. Bulgaria pressures stuff. We will not give in to threats. Shadow scheme complete. I'd love to do general rearmament, but it is too early for that. So let's go down this path instead. Infiltrate the Germans again. Really could use more political power. I probably should have taken Philip Kerr after all. He would be paying off right about now. Maybe in a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't make a big difference. Let's get the air safety expert. Air accidents chance. Reduction. That should work out nicely. Also give us some air experience. Oh, perhaps, perhaps that was a mistake. I should have given refuge to Italian scientists instead. Oh well, next time. Also, speaking of Italy, let's get an Italian spy. Baldwin resigns, which is very unfortunate. Let's delay that as much as we can. Just a couple more days so we don't waste a focus day. Alright, we accept your resignation. We're left with Chamberlain, who's terrible. So let's immediately switch him. To Churchill, with motion of no confidence. Finish your mission, immediately go on the next one. Is this enough chaos? I think it's enough chaos. And there seems to be enough world tension for general rearmament soon, which we're gonna use to get better fighters and better chaos. In the meantime, let's use our bonuses to get concentrated industry up. Italian scientists, that's some nice research speed bonuses. Motion of no confidence is done and we have Churchill. I could even go to partial mobilization, but we'll do war economy soon enough. Let's conserve that political power. Time for general rearmament. Now I could get an extra research slot instead. Hmm, maybe we should. Then again, I want to get fighter command and coastal command as soon as I can. So we can start fielding better fighters. But I don't want the world tension to decay and block me out of general rearmament. Let's finish this and then we'll decide. Radar. Let's also become the spy master. That will give us an extra operative slot. Infiltrate the German Navy. Alright, we've done general rearmament. We want to do fighter command and coastal command next, but uh, before that I guess we'll get the fifth research start. Italian operative, please. Get over to Italy. Ah, Germany's doing the Anschluss. We want to fight them as soon as they uh, as they demand to detonate. So essentially we want to use our planes in Czechoslovakia. Other decryption, very good. You also have want some planes, you can get some old bombers from me. Although, you know what, fighters are cheap and quick to produce. And consuming goods factories 5% is pretty decent. Let's give them 50 very old fighters. Royal Ordnance factories are very tempting, but I think it's time for air rearmament. We've infiltrated Germany as much as possible. Let's relocate some of our spies to Italy so we can infiltrate them too. And we're almost done with decryption for all of them. I guess I can pause Hungary. It's not that important. Just finish Germany, then Italy, then Hungary. Let's hire the air superiority expert. It's gonna be some extra air experience. And Anschluss has happened. Infiltrate the Italian army. Bomber interception guy. And with industry liaisons, we can get our plane research quite quickly. Let's do that. Or perhaps we could have saved up some political power using the air advisor cost reduction, but what is done is done. Also, let's boost the radar here. Fighter command. 
You're doing the little mad yet? Not yet. Sorry, old chaps, we are not investing anywhere. Right, continue decryption with Italy and Hungary. That is a decent amount of chaos. And some strategic bombers too. We'll use these to disrupt their infrastructure, and these to directly target their units, and these to maintain a superiority everywhere. Well, everywhere, mostly around Czechoslovakia. We plan to stop the Germans from taking it. Portugal wants stuff. Yes. No, Turkey, we shall not invest. Let's do improved worker conditions. Could use some extra stability. And once you max out civilian factories in the area, it is finally time for military ones. Although I probably should be starting from the north. Because they're gonna be bombing down there. Fighter command is complete. Now we can finally start researching better planes. Let me show you all the wonderful bonuses we have. Only 245 days for the Spitfire. Colonial elites, expert focus, scientists from Germany and Italy, competing machines, industry liaisons, and the aircraft designer. Let's get that plane. Same for better CAS. I think centralized control will be the best for us if we're only using fighters and CAS. Well, and strategy bombers. But this, this basically boosts everything, right? Let's do centralized control here. And a better radar. Another infiltration of the Italians, please. Ah, Cypher for Italy done. And Germany is doing Sudetenland. Now, I haven't guaranteed their independence, but I think the event will fire anyway. If it doesn't, well, I have to rethink my plans. Anyways, it's time to organize ourselves a bit. Let's get all our ships and send them to Dover. One of my favorite dad jokes is that the port is named after Benjamin Dover. Although I might have overused that one lately. Rebalanced uh, the fleets and I'm gonna put them all on strike force all around here. This should secure us from naval invasions and even if not we have our ports garrisoned. So we don't have to worry about that and we can focus on our planes. Being of planes, let's get them all. Even the ones from carriers. Who cares? Take everything. They can't threaten our fleet anyway, even without uh, the fighters on carriers. Group up here for now. Switch out some research for the CAS, because we have a bonus for it now. Oh, I forgot to select the focus. A bit of a pity about that. Royal Ordnance Factory, please. Right, I think we have everything ready, almost. Let's deploy all the planes we've built. Perhaps we should get more fighters, but I will be working on that in the near future. This and this will merge together. Actually, merge them all as much as we can. Munich Conference. Czechoslovakia must be defended. This is going to zero out my political power. I guess I should have saved some up so we would be able to go to war economy. Um, maybe remember to do that if you are playing this way. Anyways, Czechoslovakia must be defended. And normally when you do this, the Germans should quickly overpower Czechoslovakia and crush them. But if I give them air support, they should resist. Are these planes deployed? Yes, they are. Right, so in crisis, Germany attacks Czechoslovakia. They should automatically join my faction. They have. I shall join your war. Excellent. And now I'm going to boost their air bases because these are insufficient. So prioritize that. You know what? I overdid it with the civilian factories. Should have started building military ones much earlier. Oh well. And immediately activate the German cipher. And finally, our planes activate air superiority, close air support, interception, strategic bombing of railways, anti air roads, radar, and airports. I think that's a good choice. We'll see. And logistics strike as well. I guess. Port strike as well because I do have some naval some naval bombers here. Um, if I understand correctly, they'll be able to bomb some uh, ships up here. Also, I'll split the fighters in half and go to Czechoslovakia. Assign everyone here temporarily. More ground crews. Go. France has joined. Is Germany attacking yet? They're not. Hmm. Is that because they're immediately at war with France? I don't think so. No, they'll gather their forces and attack soon. And yes, we can get all our friends in on this. Let's also send some land lease to Czechoslovakia. All the tanks we have, some artillery. It's not a lot, but if it can help them a little bit, you know, some trains and some rifles. Once again, it's not a lot, but every bit helps. And some support equipment. Go. Our planes have arrived. Now I'm hoping that Czechoslovakia will actually attack north a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take half of the fighters and send them there. Take a larger chunk of CAS. Oh, no, the smaller chunk of CAS. The tactical bombers, although they shouldn't be doing port strikes. And the strategic bombers. Also more grand crews. Also free up the airports a bit. Shadow scheme factories. So far so good. I'm not sure if it's because I activated the cipher immediately, but the Germans seem to not be attacking. They usually do. On the contrary, actually Czechoslovakia seems to be attacking. Now, is that because of what I did or would that happen anyway? 
And I think it's because of what I did. Well, at least they have air superiority. Let's see how much it affects the battles. They're attacking the Germans. Oh no, I didn't give them air superiority down south, only up north. So let's check this bit. Export. And Intel Advantage, that's me as well. So they get 20 something percent to their attack and defense, which is significant. Well, I don't know how much damage Cass is doing, but it makes me think I should relocate all the Cass up here. Well, it does do some damage. What do we have on port strike? Oh, yeah, it should be assigned here. And the Cass should not have port strike selected. That's better. Yeah, only fighters in Czechoslovakia proper, and fighters, bombers, and Cass in Eastern Germany. Encouraging Czechoslovakia to attack. Relocate our operatives so we can have better intel on Germany and continue decryption. Okay, good. Luxembourg has been attacked, uh, but I think France can handle themselves. Well, and now Italy joins and they're gonna beat up France most probably. Aircraft production group. Focus on fighters. Yeah, this is looking good. We're gonna do battlefield support, but first I want to hire uh, the air warfare theorist. So we need some more political power. I think we have enough CAS for now. We just need some more fighters to ensure our air superiority is absolute and also cover Poland when they get involved. France, we're going to leave to their own devices. If Czechoslovakia survives, France should survive as well. Oh, I researched the scout planes and forgot to use them. Let's get some scout planes going. Not a lot, just some. But a fuel refining because I'm running out of fuel. We should also buy some because I need it for my planes. Hey, Malaya, give me some. Raj, same for you. Is that sufficient? Not really. I guess I could do synthetic plans. Let's buy some from the Netherlands. We'll strengthen them a bit because they'll be involved in the war soon enough. I never thought I'd need synthetic refineries. More fuel. That's better. Ah, German cipher decrypted again. Let's use that immediately. Is Italy in the war yet or do they just join the faction? Just the faction. Never underestimate the intel advantages. Doesn't cost much and it is a significant bonus. As you can see, Germany can't even beat Czechoslovakia with proper intel and air support. How's my production? Need more fighters. Other than that, it's fine. More will support from Aces. Doing fuel refining, this should fix my oil troubles and then I can ease up on the trade a little bit. There's the air defense and then radar. Speaking of radar, let's boost that a bit. When we boost it enough to go all over Germany, that's gonna be quite significant. Oh, Germany took a bit of Czechoslovakia, it seems, but they're still holding strong, even attacking. Let's get the air warfare theorist and now we can get some air doctrines. We're going with battlefield support because that is what we're doing. Three doctrines. Now I could try and help France out, but France is just gonna sit on the Maginot, so it's fine. We're putting all our resources into destroying the Germans up here and doing significant damage to enemy divisions. And better fighters are here. Let's get even better fighters. Although 672 days, that's a bit excessive, isn't it? Well, we do have the bonus. It's nothing better to research, really, so let's do that. Spitfire time. Are we doing all the damage to infrastructure? Oh yes, we are. We're destroying all the railways. Enemy agent turned, nice. So we're essentially making it impossible for the regions to get proper supply. No, no, that's wishful thinking. Looks like they all have proper supply. Still damaging the railways is gonna help us a bit and is gonna make them repair stuff and damaging anti-air and airports. All in all, I don't think the strategic bombing is doing that much, but it can help a little bit. And I already do have air superiority, so might as well do that. Now we just need Germany to attack Poland, which they are preparing to do. And then they should be overwhelmed, although I will have to uh, reorganize my planes a little bit. Ah, the cipher is decrypted. Let's use it immediately and keep doing that. Although I suppose I could have waited until they attacked Poland. But with what we're doing here, Poland should be able to resist. We'll also extend our air coverage there. Radar, please. How many fighters do I have in reserves? Not many. Oh, let's use those scout planes. Send them to Eastern Germany as well. Do formation fighting, hunt and destroy. Essentially go down here. We have a lot of air experience from what we're doing. <laughs> and I have, <laughs> I have 80% war participation from all the bombing we're doing. Better CAS is done. Let's do even better CAS. And we're finally building military factories. Poland refused German ultimatum. They're bombing us a little bit, but it doesn't matter that much. Let's ignore that. And help Poland. So, how much do we need? I'm going to take half of the fighters that are currently fighting in Czechoslovakia. Send them to Western Poland. Let's see if that's enough for air superiority. Also ground crews. It seems to be, yes. And since they still need to take the Königsberg area, I'm going to take the old tactical bombers and some cast from here to do the same thing. Also, we can relocate the naval bombers, which are, I think, they're bombing their ships in port. We'll relocate them to Poland so they have better coverage. Also, do we need anything else? I guess we can send half of the recon planes there as well. Italy has joined the fight. 
Uh, is France gonna hold on? I'm hoping they will. Not much we can do now. I guess I could help with their support uh, down in France, but they can handle themselves. It's more important to keep Poland and Czechoslovakia alive. And Poland is doing extremely well with our help. They're running out of fuel again. Am I not getting what I pay for? Essentially, of Cairo. Oh yeah, ignore Africa. Always ignore Africa. Suppose I can buy some more from the United States. That's better. Perhaps I should be working on synthetic refineries. Let's research them. Hitler assassinated because they didn't manage to beat up Czechoslovakia. All the German officers got pissed and... Oh, Goering is the leader now. Hermann Goering. I was expecting Himmler, but that's good too. We're gonna beat them up. We have our superiority everywhere. Essentially, yes. Although Germany seems to be moving all their planes to Germany proper. Now, there is still fighting in the Polish region. So we're gonna keep the planes there. And we need to keep some air superiority in Czechoslovakia. Otherwise, the Germans might break through. Oh, cryptologic bomb, why not? Essentially, once Poland is taken care of, we can move all the CAS to Germany. Oh, Poland actually did lose some territory here. This could be dangerous. Well, all we can do is support them in the air. And it seems like I need more fighters. How's our production? Focused on fighters primarily. Although I need some more aluminium. Luckily, we can get it on the cheap from Malaya. And finally, we can go to war economy. Oh, or even total mobilization. Let's do that last one. Now, what's my manpower going to be? Very low. We need to do women in the workforce, but I don't have a uh, political power for that. Soon. Oh, can we actually get Portugal to help us? Would be nice. We can give some speeches. Women in the workforce first, though. We are being bombed a little bit, so I guess I'll put some air defenses. And then we can continue with military factories. Fuel refining. We get more out of uh, the oil we buy. And we can boost our radars now. We're almost reaching Germany. Two more levels and should be all around here. Uh, looks like Poland is in big trouble. I did not send my planes to eastern Poland. Perhaps I should. Is it going to help? Not necessarily. Okay, Poland's not doing too well. But Czechoslovakia is doing great. So this could go either way. France is doing fine enough. The extra air superiority from here. And ground support. And activate the German cipher and the Italian one. Is this going to suffice? Can the Polish survive? They have very few troops. This is not looking promising. Actually, let's return everyone to Western Poland. If they survive, they'll survive here. So Poland, Poland is on the fence, but Czechoslovakia might be about to take Berlin. Oh, that's why Poland is losing. They put their troops in Czechoslovakia rather than defend their own territory. Very heroic and very stupid, but we did take Berlin. So that is something. Do we want jet aircraft? We don't. Do we want bomber command? Well, I suppose we could get better bombers. It's not crucial. I'm actually not going to do a focus now. Let's wait a bit. Use that political path for other stuff. Invoke the alliance. Do I need to improve relations with Portugal first? They do like me. Let's improve relations with them. Better competing machines. So yeah, this is looking quite promising as long as Poland doesn't capitulate. If Poland capitulates, it's not going to be so great. But we do have a superiority with lots of cash everywhere. Oh yeah, cool. Right, so what just happened and what you heard is uh, the tempered glass window on the side of my PC just shattered while I was recording the entire window. So I had to stop recording and clean all of that up. Fortunately, my PC is under the desk, so I myself did not get showered in glass, only the floor did. Not a very pleasant experience. At least I got some unique content out of that. I guess it's partially lucky that it happened while recording. Was it the heat? Was it the vibration? Was it the death of Hitler that did it? I don't know, but I'm not going to be using tempered glass cases anymore. Need to get or build a replacement panel for that. And I got to tell you, it's not going to be glass. Fortunately, neither I nor the PC got hurt. So we may continue with the game. Now, with a windowless PC. Right, so where were we? Our air dominance... Oh, right, need to unpause to see the colors. Um, but, because of course I had to turn the computer off, to get all the glass out of it. And there was a lot of glass inside it. So let's unpause this, so the air situation is updated. And yes, we have green air everywhere, and Czechoslovakia, together with Poland, are pushing Germany out, and we got Berlin, and separated the German territory once again, even though they did take Gdynia and Gdańsk. So the Germans are now split. Now, if I wasn't doing planes only, I would now move my fleet over to the Baltics and make sure they could not ship anything between these two areas. Right, all we need right now is for Poland to not capitulate and everything will be well. Not paid licenses. What license? What? What is this? I need to cancel? No, I'm going to ignore this completely and instead continue. 
with the Air Doctrine. Also, Portugal, do you like me yet? Not just yet. Oh, Hungary has finally joined the Axis. And they are joining as an enemy. Now, if Czechoslovakia can scramble quickly enough, all will be well. See, I have booted the game up again, so the AI behavior got kind of reset and now they're joining. But it's all good. I'm still maintaining a superiority over Czechoslovakia. If they can get a defense set up quickly enough, Hungary will not be a problem. And they have enough troops to do it and just need to distribute them properly. Let's activate the Hungarian cipher and continue decrypting the German one. I wish you could set it to automatically start decrypting when it's done, you know, using the cipher. More ace pilots. You know, if you get so much air combat and get ace pilots all the time, that's a lot of war spot. Ignore Africa, Italy is winning there, but it does not matter. Watch goal. Now, I'm not sure if their opinion of me matters for the uh, alliance decision. I suppose we'll see. And Hungary pushing into Czechoslovakia and Poland because they were not prepared. But now a defense is going there. Soon all of Eastern Germany will be under our control. They're still fighting here. Then we can move our air force elsewhere. But it's important to get all of it, so you guys continue and take Lübeck and so on. And then I can move this huge amount of planes elsewhere. Maybe to Poland, but taking core territory is more important. Let's just hope Poland can survive. Because if it can't, we'll be in a bit of trouble. Is France actually sending troops here? Yes, they are. Good job, France. I would too, if I had the option. Well, they do hold a port, so France can safely send troops over, which is nice. They are also getting into Italy quite effectively. Right, let's try to befriend Portugal. Invoke the Alliance of 1373. Come on, Portugal, join me. Portugal accepts. Cool. I mean, they're not very powerful, but every bit helps. Now, if Germany attacked the Netherlands and Belgium, that would be even better for me, because they cannot handle that. I suppose I could do the Dutch trade negotiations and all that. It doesn't really matter. Let's see if Germany is planning to attack them. Second Vienna Award. I think it's very rare to see Hermann getting here. Hmm. We'll see if they do this. We have enough information to know what they're doing. We will see. Portugal joins. Hey, Portugal, want to join my war? Oh, they already did. Cool. Now, I have some speeches I can do. Where is that? That's 50. Portugal power for 5% stability. Not amazing, but good enough. All right, let's get that stability and actually go back to doing focuses. This would be cool, but we don't really need stuff like planning speed because we're not using the army. Jet aircraft. Do we want jet aircraft? We won't have enough time to use it. We'll win before then. I guess we can do every man will do his duty and then get some extra factories from here. Although that will cost me 20 stability for very little gain, so let's not. Let's do bombing command. We are using strategy bombers a little bit. All right. Czechoslovakia moving towards Polish territory. Nice one. Hungary seems to have been stopped. I could actually send my planes down south as well, but uh, I would prefer for, for these guys to complete uh, the region before they move on. And this is looking promising. Poland is being retaken. German cipher ready. Use it immediately. Decrypt hmm, Italy or Hungary. Actually, Hungary is a more immediate threat to Czechoslovakia and Poland, so let's do Hungary. More radar. Also, we can build more radar. How am I out of... God damn it. I forgot to do women in the workforce. I am out of manpower. Zero percent eligible core population. Yeah, I forgot. Because I had a break because of the window shattering. More radar. It's almost reaching Germany. I have some extra fighters. I can deploy them to make sure we have air superiority in a bunch of other places too. Yeah, I think it's time for that. Deploying some more planes. They're gonna be taking care of Northwest Germany. And some go here to Eastern Poland. And do more ground crews everywhere. These newly deployed guys go... Actually, let's scrap the anti-air defenses. They're not bombing me anymore. Do we get green air everywhere? Yes, we do. I suppose I could also work on the Alpine region, but... Oh, I suppose France should do their own thing as well. And I don't want to spread myself too thin. I'm expecting for Germany to get pushed out of Northern Poland soon. And then we can relocate the planes from there. Second Vienna Award. Not a problem. Let's see what next focus they're doing. Research slot, really? Can they even attack anyone else? They can demand Slovenia, and they can go around Maginot. Although they're not strong enough to execute any of these plans. Right, bombing command is complete. Now let's actually get some manpower. I have to wait to get enough political power for this. Oh, Cypher for Hungary. Nice. Election. Do we want to get the election? Uh, you know what? Let's do a wartime exception 
for elections. We lose some support for democracy, but it's no big deal. Use that Hungarian cipher. Although most units, even in Hungary, are German, so it's probably rather pointless to get their cipher at all. Oh, I'm buying too much oil. We have full reserves. Let's stop the purchase from the United States and from the Netherlands, apparently. All right, this is fine for now. Let's also get better strategy bombers. We're not using them much, but they do help. Oh, see? I spread myself too thinly. No longer have air superiority over here. Let's withdraw these planes. Don't want to lose too many. We'll reinforce the region once uh, the forces from Poland are free. And let's finally do women in the workforce. We can get some manpower. Infinite ace pilots. Are actually going to push the Germans out of northern Poland? Doesn't look too good. It would really help if Germany attacked more people. Now I could try and disrupt Germany with a civil war, but then we wouldn't get all the territory. Well, we won't get all the territory anyway, but... Oh, Soviet Union is just fighting against Poland. That is a problem. That is a big problem. Perhaps we should let Poland surrender. If they do, at least we won't have to fight the Soviet Union, and then we can possibly retake them. Yeah, I'm going to pull my forces out of Poland. Get over here, everybody. Now I actually want Poland to fall and surrender. Or we need to kill Germany before the Soviets attack Poland. 160 days left. Ah, oh, we can do the Tizad mission. Sure, let's do that. Activate the German cipher, decrypt the Italian cipher. I suppose I could infiltrate the Italian military to give France a bit of a boost. Now that I've withdrawn my support from Poland, Poland is moving more troops. Germany is doing befriend Japan. You know what, maybe I should befriend the Netherlands. Uh, do we care about nationalist Spain? Not really. I guess I'll do the Dutch negotiations and stuff. If Germany's not gonna attack them, well that's one way to get them involved. I don't really mind if Poland gets defeated now. It would be unfortunate, but yeah, let's not care about Mexican oil. Where was I? Oh yeah, mm, it would be best for us if Czechoslovakia survives and Poland capitulates. That's because of the Soviet Union. Oh no, they actually stopped just... Oh, that's good. See, they were justifying a war goal on the place that uh, Poland lost to the Germans. So their justification was stopped. Excellent. All right, let's get these planes back to Poland then. Hmm, cooperation. Sure, Romania, you can join us. And Finland rejects Soviet demands, not my problem. And Romania joined us, which is excellent because Romania is a very good ally and they should take care of Hungary for us. And they are in the war. Excellent. Well, I have some fighters to send them. And some strat bombers and some scouts. And I don't have enough cast to send them, sadly. Should probably make more cast. What will this do? Yeah, most probably. Some more cas. This will do better. We need war propaganda? We do not. What we need is for Germany to be stupid and attack more people. Oh, wait a minute. I'm losing air domination in Czechoslovakia? Really? 48 enemy fighters, what is this? Air detection is too low. Oh, I need scout planes, I guess. Trizard mission. Tizard mission, sorry. About now? This is strange. I should have way more domination. It's not like their fighters are super good or something. 47 Hungarian fighters only. Strange. We don't need these because we have enough manpower now. Let's do Commonwealth ties. Oh, the Germans are pushing me back here. Not by a lot, but still they are. Okay, something is wrong here. My situation in Czechoslovakia should be much better. Let's relocate planes from here. That's better. Oh, Mexican compensation. Nice of them. Best radar. More radar. German cipher. Let's go. I'd like the Romanians to be a bit more aggressive. You know what I need? I need a bit of territory so I can build radars here. Hey, Czechoslovakia. Would you give me stuff? I just need a bit. Ostmark will be excellent. You will not agree. Really? Hm. Will Poland? They will not. Very unfortunate. How to build your radars. Come on, Poland. White peace between the Soviet Union and Finland, which is not good for me, because now they can turn their aggression elsewhere. However, Poland might be pushing the Germans out, finally. Let's do some development in the colonies. Ah, is that the Soviets again? Yes. Yes, it is. 150 days. I doubt we can defeat the Germans in that time. So we'll be in a bit of trouble, it seems. Right, let's send some fighters and cares and such to the Alpine region. Perhaps France can do better if we help them. Bulgaria joins the Axis. That's gonna be a problem unless Romania can crush them easily. We'll see. Romania is usually pretty good, but they need to act fast. New agent. Activate German cipher. Decrypt Italian. This was going very well and then Czechoslovakia stopped advancing. Kinda. Although I probably should give them some support here, around Hamburg. Maybe these guys from the Alpine region will do better work here. We have almost all of Eastern Germany, so I'll be able to move these planes out of here soon. Oh, and we do have all of Western Poland, so these guys can move out. Come on, crush the Germans. Hmm, the Germans are having very, very big supply troubles here. God damn it. 
Soviet Union declared war on Poland and I can invite Lithuania. You know what I can do about the Soviet war on Poland? I can not participate. Although the problem is Czechoslovakia will participate. Oh, can I... Who are you at war with Soviet Union? Poland and Lithuania. Can I kick Poland? Yes, I can. I'm sorry, Poland, but we had a clear goal to beat up Germany. I'm going to kick you from the faction. And this way, we will not be drawn into a war with the Soviet Union. Where'd my planes go? Oh, they automatically relocated. It's unfortunate, but I have to do this if I want to achieve my goals for this playthrough. I'm out of fuel, goddammit. Ah, oh, Romania can sell me some. Is that enough fuel? It is not. Ah, because they're not delivering it. Let's do US instead. No, Poland, you may not join my faction. Because you're fighting the Soviet Union, and we cannot afford to do that, sadly. But we have saved Czechoslovakia from having to engage the Soviet Union. I'll lend these from the Americans, yes please. America, would you like to join my faction? Or rather, what would it take? Almost there. And these. So yeah, we abandoned Poland. Maybe they can do it on their own, maybe not. At least they're safe from Germany, thanks to us. Lithuania capitulates, sadly. No, Germany is actually bordering the Soviet Union. Perhaps there'll be a conflict. Germany is only doing tactical air effort. Nothing helpful. But we are progressing. Destroyers for bases. Um, I don't really care. Sure, I will agree because it brings us closer to the United States and we want to be friends with them. We now have all of Eastern Germany so I can move planes out of there. Uh, now, port strikes won't be very effective without ports. We need some more CAS in there. Is this looking good enough? Kinda. Well, no, we don't have all of this part of Germany, but well, it's just two provinces, so I decided to move my air force elsewhere. Let's do the Alpine region now. You're gonna have enough air superiority? Yes, excellent. What I won't have enough of is fuel again. But this is looking good. It's a pity I had to abandon Poland, but uh, we're the allies, that's what we do, kinda. Well, not completely. Romania seeds Bessarabia. Good, good choice. Don't fight the Soviet Union now. You have other stuff to do. Alright, this is good. This is good. Czechoslovakia is moving all around Germany. If only I could do a collaboration with government, that might push them to capitulate early. Well, not yet, but earlier. Let's get some synthetic refineries going, maybe. I do need the oil. Romania doing a very good job here. Ah, the radar is here. Also, let's do better fuel extraction stuff. Activate the German cipher, decrypt the Italian one, and give access to the United States. Why do you want access? Are you at war with anyone? Not yet. Not yet. What focus is Germany doing? Nothing interesting. They can still do around Maginot, but refuse to. And I still forget to do the Dutch trade. Oh, the Dutch are helping me with trade negotiations. They want to join me. Excellent. If the Dutch join, we win. We're actually very aggressive. Lots of ace pilots everywhere. 20 fighters. Having some trouble in the Alpine region. Can shuffle some planes around. About now. All of Romania abdicates. Oh, you're getting fascist. Well, you're at war with the Germans, so it doesn't really matter much. Can we join here? That would be excellent. Yalta Conference. That is unfortunate. Wait a minute, how do we get a Yalta Conference if the Soviet Union is not fighting the Germans? Or are they? Let's have a look. They're not fighting the Germans. This makes no sense for me. If the Soviets are not fighting the Germans, the Yalta Conference is pointless. We cannot cooperate with the Soviet Union. Now they're gonna kill Poland soon, that was inevitable, but at least they won't kill us. Not much else I can do right now. The Germans are running out of equipment, which is excellent. And it's still a while before we can beat them. The Soviets are actually occupying German territory without being at war with Germany. I'd be pissed if I was Germany. Work conditions. Well, I guess I can ban fascism and communism, let's do that. That's gonna help. I wonder, maybe we should do the Imperial Conference. Ah, uh, Fighter 3 is complete. Excellent. Now, we have 500 air experience saved up. Let's use it. Get the Fighter 3, create a variant. Make sure it's reliable. Get it some weapons and engine upgrades. Don't, do I really need more range? Yeah, it has good range. Maximum guns and some speed. And reliability. Or should we max agility first? Let's max agility first. And then we can increase the weapons and range later. If we get more experience. Start producing lots of those, please. We're gonna have super awesome fighters. Bulgaria would not comply. Do I need a war goal? No. No. They're in the Axis anyway. Greece, yes! You shall join the Allies and help us tremendously. Greece is actually very useful with their naval invasions and aggressiveness. Germany took stuff from Poland. Now this is interesting because the Germans have no troops here. So my guys should be able to get the area quickly if they decide to. Max out the radar. It's already helping a lot. Yeah, looking good. Not much to change here. Germany occupies Western Poland. Okay, that's fine by me. 
They don't really have any troops here, they will have to relocate them. And we don't, because we have guys here. There's of course assuming that uh, my guys can move faster than the Germans. So they will just have to conquer this bit all over again. Uh, the Germans are moving fast. I'll have to send planes here as well. Or rather, my guys are moving slowly. The Germans are moving normal speed. Fighters, please. And cast and everything else. Go to Western Poland. Oh, Eastern Germany. We have to fight a lot here. Not really. I can ignore this Arizona, I think. No. German cipher. Again. Should I research nukes? I should probably research nukes. Cast 3, here we go. Max the weapon on the fighter and get some more range as well. Though well, range reduces reliability quite heavily. Oh, this... Do I need more range, really? No, we have bases all, all around. Well, let's keep the range basic. Need more aluminium. It's a pity we got pushed out of Poland. But we did connect to France here. Okay, this could be a turning point if France does the right thing. Tripartite pact with Yugoslavia. Uh, I object. Okay, France is actually doing the right thing. Cool. And German interest in Scandinavia. Excellent. Everything is going to plan. Well, almost everything. This is terrible. What the hell are you doing? Czechoslovakia? Defend this bit. God damn it. L look at what the AI is doing. <laughs> this is beyond stupid. Oh, well. We might lose because they just refuse to garrison the area. That would be very disappointing. Well, I am very disappointed in Czechoslovakia. They just did something extremely terrible. Really. And still, no troops here. There, there's no soldiers. Zero. And there's a lot around here, but no soldiers here. Well, Germany might be unstoppable due to the Allied AI. We still have a chance because the Netherlands are now on our side, theoretically. And Denmark is getting involved. And Yugoslavia. So who knows? But just this one move cost us so much. Germany has retaken a lot of territory. Well, at least we have cut them in half here, but I'm very disappointed. How are we doing Denmark? Eh, well enough. We have no bananas. I'm almost out of civilian factories, because I'm using them all to purchase stuff. Looks like it's time to go to limited exports. Cancel all the purchases and redo them. Still holding on to Hamburg somehow. Now, would you give me a bit of territory? Something that I won't need to defend myself, but which can be used to build radars. Well, everything is kind of connected, and I don't want to disrupt their defense any more than it has already been disrupted. We're using so much fuel. More fighters? Well, this is not looking too good for France. Ah, Japan attacked the Philippines. And we can finally invite Belgium and the United States to our faction. Excellent. Call to arms. In Belgium too. Come on, Belgium. I also need someone to save France. How is the German AI so strong and the Allied AIs are so weak? Let's do nukes. I'm not going to war against Japan, there's nothing to gain. But the United States are going to war against Germany. Come on, save France. Will they manage to save France? That would be nice. How is the radar situation? Pretty good. Okay, okay, Belgium is invading. Watch your Netherlands. Wanna join yet? Not yet. Germany would be almost dead if <laughs> this area wasn't just abandoned by Czechoslovakia. France has lots of troops here. No troops here. Come on, United States. We got you into this war. Now we can save us. Well, more precisely, save France. They still have this jointed government. They do. God damn it. That's sad. Come on, US. Will you be the saviors of France? At least we're doing fine against Hungary. Well, you guys could be a bit more aggressive. Well, of Manila. We now have a government in exile. All right. The Americans are helping France. Well, were they too late? We'll see. Ah, finally. Soviet Union attacked the Germans. This means our victory, I think. There have been a few unexpected turns in this game, so... We'll see, let's not celebrate too early. Also, Bulgaria and Italy are demolishing Greece, apparently. Now, we could save them all with our troops, but we're British, so we're just gonna stay home. That wasn't very nice, was it? All these guys here have supply troubles. Well, just most of them. Ah, we can hold a new speech. Sure, let's do a new speech. Oh, Netherlands can leave the Comintern and join us. Sure, let's do that. Alright, now the Netherlands destroy Germany. At least they should. That's a funny-looking Germany, isn't it? Let's get better Cass. So the United States are saving France, although all they needed to do was keep an army here and they would have been safe. Oh, well, that's fine. The Netherlands are killing Germany in the meantime. I mean, the Soviet Union too, but mostly the Netherlands. This is a bit chaotic, don't you think? Some nice chaos over here. Mexico wants to join. Sure! This is a really nice border gore. Let's do jet stuff. Why not? Italian cipher. So the Americans are saving France. France is attacking from the Netherlands. At least Yugoslavia is smart and staying in their own territory. Looks like Soviets are about to take Berlin, which would have been ours. Well, we smart. Hungary is now greater than something. 
Edge of Slovakia, give me territory. If I had the man to that land, sadly no. I can get Franken, this should be safe enough. Right, let's just get some radars in here. You guys defend my territory, I'll just build radars there. Seems like nobody wants to defend my territory. Fall of Berlin, the second fall of Berlin. This time, it's Soviet. Alright, these guys have no supply, they will be wiped out eventually. Germany is now the size of what Hungary used to be. Mostly just have Austria left and a bit. And activate the German cipher. Finish them off. Should we hold the Imperial Conference? I guess. Let's do Indian Autonomy and then hold the Imperial Conference. We'll see how well it goes. Ah, oh, Bulgaria capitulated, excellent. Let's research nuclear stuff. Yes, since we will be trying the Imperial Conference, how long does this focus take? Not too long. Let's improve relations with all our subjects. I mean, our relations are already good, but... Hmm. Do I need to improve them? No, we're already at 100%. Let's not waste political power. They love me. No need to worry about that. And the last two pockets of northern Germany. Finally taken care of. Which frees up a lot of planes for us. Some of the airports seem a bit overcrowded. But all in all, 2000 on CAS, 1000 on fighters. Yeah, this is looking good. Well, we did pour our entire production into it, so it's better. Alright, yeah, Germany is reduced to just this little bit. Be a bit aggressive, guys. Or are you waiting for my cipher? That is a lot of operatives. With that many operatives, I might even be able to not instantly be detected when spying on the Soviet Union, which will not be necessary. Right, let's try the Imperial Conference, because we don't really have anything better to do while we wait. Oh, the Imperial Conference. Independence movement in India gathers strength. Can we do anything about that? Not really. At least not now. Who is invading Italy? France is. Okay, mostly French people here. Uh, and finally, there is some action on the German border. Hungary is surprisingly resilient here. How much damage are we dealing to the enemy? Quite a lot. Cypher. Right, Germany, have you capitulated? This definitely looks like you have. Yes, Germany has in fact capitulated. Now we just need to beat up Italy and we'll have a peace conference. Excellent! So yeah, it worked. We managed to help Czechoslovakia survive long enough for the others to mobilize into the war and beat up Germany. Now let's wait until Italy is inevitably defeated and see how we can paint the world. Czechoslovakia will probably get a lot. Go to Italy. Hungary is being finished off. So Italy will be the last one standing, it seems. Activate the Italian cipher. And decrypt the Hungarian one while it is still possible. Oh, I know what you should have done. I hope you should have done no further appeasement. Then we can actually do puppets at the peace conference, I think. Yeah, well, I think it might be too late for that. Unless Italy proves very resilient. Yeah, I forgot about that. No further appeasement lets you do puppets. As the UK. I guess it hardly matters if defeating them is the end of what we planned, but still, would be good to have that. Let's get all our planes to Italy. All of them. All the planes. Alright, we have 6,000 on air superiority, 6,000 on CAS, 700 on strategic bombing, 400 on scouts, that's way too much. And 121 on port strikes. Liberia wants to join me, sure. Rocket engines. What is my participation anyway? 11%, that's still fine for what we did. Uh, right, Imperial Conference. Ah, Imperial Conference reduces their opinion of us. I forgot about that, so I should have improved relations anyway. Let's do that now, quickly. We still have a couple of days. Fate of the Empire hangs in the balance. We truly really do Federation now. What we can do is every man will do his duty. Right, let's wait a bit until our relations improve and then we can discuss the various stuff. Yeah, I forgot. I should have improved relations. No, I didn't forget. I actually started doing it and then mm, thought it was unnecessary. How is Italy not capitulated yet? Oh, do we have extra relations because we're when we're in a war together? No. Oh, I hold your core province. Do you want it back? Sure, here you go. If that makes you like me more. How about now? 70. Yeah, I'm looking good. Dutch East Indies capitulate. Not my problem, fortunately. We'll have some time to do the Imperial Conference. And here is the end of the war. I have not finished uh, no further appeasement, so I can't really do puppets, or can I? Will that do supervised state, or, or what? You know, I don't have that much score. Let's pass a couple of times. Let me just take territory. Wait, 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 wait. Wait some more. Okay, let's wait for France to make a move, and possibly for the United States, and then we can take some territory for ourselves. Okay, this is probably a good moment. Give me Germany. I want it. You know, this is expensive because the Soviets hold it. But the Soviets, do they even want anything? Seems like they don't. Oh, and I can actually get Poland. That's not very nice, but it is practical. Yay, give me Greece, even though they were my ally. All right, this is as much as I can take for this round. Pass a bit, pass a bit more. I should have passed more on the, you know, the last round of passing. Okay, got some border gore. 
I could have taken more, but it's not that important. We got stuff that was important. Yay, are we still at war? What who? Japan. Wait a minute, I did not accept that call to arms. Or did I? No, I don't think I did. Ah, they probably attacked Malaya, and I missed it. Okay, good. We got most of Germany. Yay. There's gonna be someone rest there, but it's not that important. Beautiful pink UK in continental Europe. Oh, communist Poland wants to join my faction. Sure. What else? Eritrea. Why not? Poland is pretty small now. Now, I'm not really going to be fighting Japan. What I am going to do is see the outcome of the Imperial Conference. Is it too early? Just a couple more days. Discuss Imperial Economy. Send. Super diplomats everywhere. India accepts, Australia accepts, Canada accepts, Africa, New Zealand. Good. Trade. Spend tremendous diplomatic effort. Canada rejects. Oh, Canada. Defense. Spend tremendous effort. Good. Each of these gives me a large bonus to factory output. Which, I guess, would have been handy if I did that earlier. Which I probably should have done. Let's discuss Imperial Federation now. Spend tremendous diplomatic effort. Accepts, 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 accepts. Cool. And... Success. You know what? The war is won. This is not relevant anymore. Let's cancel the focus and see... Ah, uh, we can't do that yet because they are too independent. So I would need to reduce their independence first. Then we can do an Imperial Federation. Yeah, I haven't done that one in a while. And it would take a very long time. So instead, we're going to end it here. So, how did you like planes only? I myself must say, not too much. We had to rely on the AI. And the AI, well, it wasn't very reliable, especially up north here. But in the end, we did win by just providing planes to our friends. I could have sent more planes, but the fuel was a bit of a problem, apparently. Sure, I wasn't perfectly efficient, but it worked out in the end. And we even got some Germany. On the other hand, the AI behavior was very annoying a few times. And also my computer broke, specifically the tempered glass window. Shouldn't have gotten one. I don't do RGB anyway. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know about that too. And I will see you again soon. Goodbye.